Today we got a story time of a spoiled rich kid who takes over the subscriber's birthday party because since, you know, he's, you know, the spoiled kid who gets everything he's ever wanted, the birthday party goes from being the subscriber's birthday party to being completely ruined by the spoiled kid. I know you will enjoy today's story, so sit back, relax, leave a like on the video to claim your free nothing, subscribe if you're new, and that being said, let's just jump right into it. Anyway, so we're going to call the subscriber who submitted the story Brent. So Brent was turning 13 years old, and you know, 13's a pretty good year. And sure enough, he was having a birthday party. So here's the only problem with the birthday party. At Brent's school, they had a rule. And the rule makes a lot of sense, but it can be a little bit tricky at times. At Brent's school, they had a rule where you had to either choose to invite nobody or everybody. Yeah, nobody or everybody. Brent's class wasn't super big. It was like 20 to 30 people. And the whole rule behind it, this was only true for like grades, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, like the, the younger grades. This was so that nobody ever felt left out at one of these birthday parties. So I understand why they're doing this, but at the same time, man, like, what? there's just some kids you just don't really get along with. Maybe they're not nice. I totally understand not trying to like exclude anyone, but sometimes, man, sometimes kids act in a way that low-key they should be excluded, if you know what I mean. But anyways, right, so sure enough, there was a kid in Brent's class. Come Brent? Yeah, Brent's class that we're going to call it the spoiled kid. And the spoiled kid was never told known as life. Yeah, so since the spoiled kid has never been told known as life, he definitely has a bit of an attitude. And by a bit of an attitude, I mean a massive attitude problem. Yeah, sure enough, right, the spoiled kid was never told no, and since he was never told no ever, you know, he kind of had this bit of a, you know, this bit of a sense of, you know, I am better than you, and the reason why my parents are rich is because I'm better than you, like stuff like that, right? So sure enough, let's just jump ahead to the day of the birthday party. So Brent's pretty excited, you know, they're getting stuff ready. It was happening in his backyard, and it was actually a pretty cool idea. It was a kind of a water-themed birthday party, so they had, like, they had, like, water guns, they had water balloons, they had a bunch of water games, and it was really cool. So anyways, people started pulling up, people started coming over to, you know, figure out what's up, what's going on, and sure enough, right, the spoiled kid also arrives, and the spoiled kid arrives in, like, this super fancy car, whatever, which, like, is fine. It really doesn't mean anything. Or I should say, you're not necessarily a bad person just because you pull up in a fancy car. There's nothing wrong with that. But you could tell when the spoiled kid got out, dude thought he was in Hollywood. Dude thought he was in L.A. Dude thought that he was in the movies, bro. Like, he was strutting. This kid was strutting. So proud of himself for what? For what is a great question here. Anyways, right, sure enough, the spoiled kid, you know, he walks out, he's so proud of himself, he's so happy, he's so kind of like, yeah, I'm that guy, you guys better stand back, I'm that guy, walks in, and like, everyone at the party who's already there kind of like looks at each other, because the spoiled kid was like notorious in the class. Everybody in the class was like, oh my god, it's a spoiled kid. He's like coming right now. Oh man, like we already know what's going on. Like this kid is trouble. This kid is always trouble. Like we've never really had a good experience with him because there's been times in the past where the spoiled kid would just do or say stuff where it's just like, dang, bro, this kid actually has like no manners. No one taught him how to act. And I've said this before in other spoiled kid videos. Part of me feels like it is like the fall of the spoiled kid, but another part of me feels like it's actually like 99% the fall of the parents. Like when you're six years old, when you're 15, when you're 13, okay, a little less when you're 15, but when you're younger, like your whole world is dictated to you by your parents. So if you're spoiled, maybe it's because your parents made you that way. And I'm not necessarily saying we should give spoiled kids passes all the time. That is definitely not what I'm saying, but at the same time, all I'm trying to say is like, it might not, it, let's not put the blame on him, but we can still criticize him for his actions. So anyways, right, the spoiled kid gets there. And one of the first activities is this kind of like this squirt gun, water gun type thing. So a lot of times when I play with like water guns, you just kind of like go around and just like, I don't know, spray people super casually or whatever. But for one of the first games, like, I think they were going to allow people to do that, like, later. But, like, the first fun, like, event or whatever 
was Water Gun Tag, which actually sounds really fun. I've never played Water Gun Tag before. I've played Flashlight Tag, which actually is way too OP. The flashlight needs to be nerfed immediately. I've played many versions of traditional tag, right? But Water Gun Tag just sounds fun. But at the same time, like, here's the thing. If you get squirted with a Water Gun and Water Gun Tag, bro, you're gonna feel it. And why I say this is because, like, pretty clearly, like, I don't know, in other games of tag, like, there's cheating that goes on. But sometimes, like, for example, at flashlight tag, it's not super obvious when you get flashed. With normal tag, actually is kind of obvious, but especially with, like, water gun tag, like, if you get squirted, bro, like, you're gonna feel the water on you. It's gonna be cold. It's probably gonna be a pretty intense beam of water, so you're gonna feel it a little bit. Like, there's definitely, like, no easy... It, you're not going to be like, oh, my God, I didn't even notice. Like, you're going to notice, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. So, sure enough, right, the subscribe... Like, everyone got around, and, you know, they're all, like... I think, like, some people were given, like, the water... Like, it was, like... I guess it wasn't really tag. I guess it was almost, like, dodgeball, but with water guns. So, it kind of scratched the whole water gun tag aspect. I think a one person had it, but... In this specifically, the subscriber, which, by the way, if you want to submit a story... You can do so to my Instagram account. Go to Instagram, look up Connor Pugs. It's the one with the verifica verification check. Follow me and then send me a DM with your story. Anyways, right, so they all had water guns and when you were squirted, you were out. They were broken up into two teams. It wasn't like a free-for-all. They were broken up into two teams. So anyways, right, everyone was given a water gun and the rules are basically like if you got squirted, like, you just got to, like, realize, like, just step out. Like, there's going to be a lot of rounds. They were playing, like, because they kind of realized that this was going to be really quick. I mean, if everyone's squirting each other with water guns, like, you're pretty quickly going to, like, get a lot of people out, if you know what I mean. Like, people are going to be coming out here and there. Like, it's really, like, if you get out, it's really not that bad. You know what I mean? Like, you'll be back in in literally one or two minutes. However, it really kind of did rely on people Kind of like, I mean, it was pretty obvious if you squirted someone, but at the same time, like, if you were squirted, you kind of needed to turn yourself in. So it also kind of mattered about, like, if people were going to take the responsibility in a, in a way, like, take the responsibility of, like, oh, I got squirted, like, that's just kind of how it is, I got to step out now. Anyways, though, so the first round commences, and so everyone's kind of, like, spraying each other, people are stepping out when they get tagged, and then eventually, right, the subscriber, he squirts the spoiled kid. It's super obvious. Like, it's so obvious, too, that the spoiled kid knows he got squirted. One, because this is an intense beam of water. It's cold and you'll feel it. But also, after getting squirted, the spoiled kid looks down, sees all the water dripping down his chest, looks up and makes eye contact with the subscriber. And the subscriber's like, got you, man. And the spoiled kid's like, no, you missed. I dodged it. So the subscriber kind of gives them this look of like, really, bro? Really, bro? Because, yeah, sure enough, right? It's just so obvious that the subscriber got him here. It's just so freaking obvious, dude. So sure enough, the subscriber's like, dude, I very clearly got you. Like, I can even point out the watermarks like right there. Like, very obviously, I got you there. And, this, you know, the spoil kid's like, no, dude, I freaking dodged it. And the subscriber's like, do you think you're Neo from The Matrix, man? Like, seriously, right now? Do you think you're Neo from The Matrix? Like, you really just dodged it like that? And the subscriber's like, uh, or the spoiled kid's like, well, um, and then the spoiled kid pumps up his water gun, then boom, gets the subscriber. And, you know, obviously the subscriber was just gotten, but also, like, at the end of the day, like, if someone's out, you can't be shooting from the sidelines, you know what I mean? So the subscriber's like, dude, I already got you out. And at this point, some kid looked over, and it kind of just looked like the spoiled kid got the subscriber out, and I don't think anyone saw it the other way around. So the subscriber, even though this is his birthday party, like, of course, the spoiled kid is ruining his birthday party, the subscriber's like, all right, man, whatever, and he, like, decides to, like, voluntarily leave, right? He, like, gets up and goes to the sidelines. First of all, it's not that deep, right? The subscriber knows whatever, I'll be back in a minute or two. Second of all, he doesn't want to make it look like he's the one who's doing what the spoil kid's doing. And the subscriber's like, well, no way the spoil kid can, can keep being like a massive jerk, right? No way, like no possible way. So yeah, the subscriber thought that, okay, there's no way that the spoil kid can ruin like my birthday party like any more than he already has. And let me just say that the subscriber is unfortunately very... Very, 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 very wrong. 
Real quick, if you made it this far into the video, comment water down below. That'll be the secret word of the day, so if you made it this far, comment water. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to heart a bunch of comments down below the comment water, um, just to kind of say thank you. And by the way, if you use Spotify, you can also listen to these stories on Spotify. It will be in the linked, it will be linked in the pinned comment down below. And finally, if you wanna submit stories, you can do so by going to my Instagram, following me, and then DMing me the story. My Instagram is Connor Pugs. I got the little verified tick on there, so you know it is me. Just send me a DM and write out the whole story. And of course, leave a like on this video right now to claim your free nothing. That all being said, let's get right back to it. So yeah, sure enough, uh, the, the spoiled kid wins the round and okay, I just like did like the air quotes, but I forgot I'm just recording audio right now. So yeah, I just did the air quotes around wins because he won it, but he also won it by cheating, right? Bro got the hacked client in real life. Yeah, so sure enough, the subscriber is like, okay, whatever, man, like, that's fine. So they run back another round. So once again, like, the people are squirting each other the water guns. It's fun. It's cool. It's whatever. And also a little detail that seems really random right now, but is actually really important, especially later on. So uh, all the people who came to the party were said, like, you can bring presents, but you don't need to. They weren't gonna open the presents there, but they were like, you could bring presents because you know, it's a birthday party. So there was a table with a bunch of presents on it wrapped up in like wrapping paper. Important detail for later. You guys might be really confused by why I said that, but just tuck that away in the back of your head as it will be important. So sure enough, right, it's round two. They're all squirting each other, spraying water all over the place. Guys, please don't take any of this out of context. It sounds really bad. Anyways, right, so they're all spraying each other with water and yeah, sure enough, right, the subscriber is, you know, he, he's knocking people down. Uh, the subscriber is a little, like, uh, he admits this, like, he, he feels a little weird admitting this, but he was training, like, he actually was training for his own birthday party, which, like, so he was doing, like, obstacle courses, he was doing target practice, dude got really good at wielding, like, the, I think it was kind of like a shotgun, double pump type water gun or whatever, and you had limited rounds, that's another thing. So there was like a central, okay, so this is actually kind of sick. There was like a central pool, like one of those inflatable pools that you can just buy at like Walmart. So it was in their backyard and there was like a circular inflatable pool with water. So basically you had this like water shotgun type thing and you had a limited number of shots until you ran out of water. So what you would do is when you ran out, you would run to the center and you would refill your shotgun. However, when you're refilling your shotgun of water, like, bro, you're kind of at a very vulnerable position. Like, people, like, can be camping out and waiting for you to, like, go and refill your water gun because then you're actually out. Like, you're just a sitting duck at that point. So it was kind of a game of, like, trying to conserve your water, but also, but also like, maybe, like, strategically refilling it, maybe only refilling it a little bit and quickly, like, whipping around. And I don't know, it's actually a pretty cool game. Anyways, though, on round two, the subscriber was absolutely rolling. He was steaming. He was doing a really good job. And this time, right, the spoiled kid got hit by water again. But this time, it wasn't by the subscriber. So the spoiled kid went, he ran out of water. So he went to the central pool to try and refill his water shotgun. However, two, like this kid got him. And the thing is, there was like other kids like firing at each other but they happen to see the spoiled kid get hit by the water. So the spoiled kid, once again, says, no, dude, like, I freaking dodged it, bro. Like, you don't even know. And so sure enough, right, you know, the kid's like, nah, dude, like, I very clearly saw you. And he kind of leans over to the person next to him and says, did you see it? The person next to him says, yeah, man, like, sorry, man, like, you definitely did get hit by the water. And the spoiled kid's like, dude, I freaking dodged it, bro. Like, you don't even know. Yeah, so sure enough, right, you know, the subscribers starting to notice that there's a little bit of beef going on. So then, like, another kid chimes in being like, yeah, I saw you get it too. And at this point, right, the spoiled kid starts screaming at them, like, you guys are all cheating. You're all ganging up on me because you know I'm just too good at this game. You guys know that the only chance that you guys will ever be able to win is if I'm out of the competition. I see how it is here. Don't think that you can pull a fast one on me. The spoiled kid starts getting really, really angry and really, really upset. So sure enough, right, the subscriber, like, uh, he's at a position where he could just, he, 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 he could do two things. One, he could chime in and be like, yeah, dude, I got you last round and you 
quote unquote dodged it again. You have a history of cheating, like we're like, we should probably ban you. Or two, he could try and de-escalate the situation, and the subscriber is low-key kind of smart, so we chose two. Yeah, so sure enough, right, the subscriber is kind of like, hey guys, like, let's just reset. Like, we're kind of like not super sure about what happened. Let's just do like a reset and like give each other like 30 seconds to like refill, and then we'll start again with the people still alive. So that's kind of a fair response. A lot of times, like in in kind of like sports games, like when you're just playing with the friends, if there's like a dispute, normally you just call it even and like reset a little bit. But here's the thing, right? The spoiled kid then turns to the three kids who were basically saying that he was cheating, squirts all of them and says, okay, well, those three are out right now, so they can't join. And the subscriber's like, okay, dude, well, obviously not. Like after like they claim to get you, we kind of had a pause in the game. And the spoiled kid's like, so, they can cheat, but I can't. And the subscriber at this point is like, dude just had a mad Freudian slip right there. And he's like, did you mean to say I, you can cheat, but I can't? Like, did you just mean to admit that? And the spoiled kid's like, um, because at this point, right, the spoiled kid went by saying they can cheat, but I can't is basically saying I just cheated, bro. Like, but if they're why, like, why can't I cheat? Why am I being called out for cheating? But when they cheat, which they weren't, uh, like, they don't get any punishments. But the spoiled kid unwittingly just owned himself. So the spoiled kid's like, um, I'll get, I'm going to count to three guys. And if you don't, I'll leave the game and then let me keep on going by the count of three. Well, then I'm not going to be very happy. Dude, I sometimes wonder when people use the count of three method. Like, I swear to God, the count of three method, like, I'm going to count to three, only works on kids when they're five or younger, bro. Or maybe me when I was a kid, because I was afraid of breaking the rules. But other than that, I don't understand when people are like, I'm going to count down to three. It's like, uh, and not tell me what the punishment is. Like, bro, I'm not falling for that. Yeah, so sure enough, right, the subscriber kind of looks at the spoiled kid, and it's just like waiting. And the spoiled kid's like, three, two, and he kind of like waits for a second. And it's very clear that no one's going to do anything. And the spoiled kid's like, one last shot, guys, one last shot. And they're all just like not doing anything. At this point, all the people that were out were kind of like chilling and talking with each other, but now they've came over to see what's going on. And the spoiled kid says, one. And then the spoiled kid runs to the center and refills his water shotgun. They're all kind of just waiting around, not doing anything, because they're like, um, okay, like what's, what's he gonna do? It's like, pretty clearly we're all in agreement. If he starts squirting us right now, we're not gonna do anything. We're not gonna say, oh, we're out now. Like it's very clear that we would not be out in this situation. But the spoil kid does not run towards them. He runs past them. Guys, remember when I told you earlier on about like to keep the toy, uh, not the toy, but the present table in the back of your mind? Well, take that out of the back of your mind because now we're actually going to apply it. So yeah, sure enough, right? The spoil kid runs over to the present table and starts unloading his water shotgun on the presents. The spoiled kid is able to absolutely ruin four to five presents before the parents run over and basically his mom like takes the water shotgun away from him, starts screaming at him. And so the subscriber and his friends run over and like some of his friends are like, no, that was my present for you. It's so cool. The subscriber wasn't like super upset. I mean, he wasn't happy about it. Don't get me wrong. The subscriber was not like, yes, my presents are ruined. Let's go. Huge W. Yeah, but at the same time, right, the subscriber was kind of just like, dang, bro, like, what am I going to do here? So the spoiled kid's mom is, like, yelling at him and says, like, I'm so sorry. Look, we will refund those presents. Because the spoiled kid's mom did have that, you know, did have the bands. Like, she did have that bread. So she was, like, kind of whispers to the subscriber's mom, like, just let me know what the items were and we'll get them to you. I promise. So the spoiled kid is removed from the party. Everyone's kind of looking at each other. And uh, they actually just go on to have a fun rest of their time. They just play the rest of the water games. And this time they're actually gonna have a good time because guess why? Because the spoil kid is no longer there, which makes them all very, very happy.